Hello, it's true, and today we're gonna play some more Minecraft Dungeons, and we are finally, after the work of whole yesterday, going to the secret mission. Also, I'm in the other save I play on my free time. I pretty much play it like in release order and I finished the Howling Peaks and got into the f Flames of the Nether and I love the Flames of the Nether DLC. So far, it has been better than any other DLC or the main game. That was easier than I thought it would be. First encounter with Enchanted. One thing also is that this hay this day has been going very fast. Like I'm recording this at 19:13. The clock, that time of the clock is 19:13, and it feels like I just woke up at morning. So pretty soon my upload schedule may change a little bit <laughs> since after a few days I will actually have real life again. It's always super weird switching between saves, by the way. Mm. 
this is kinda interesting concept for mission since the only quest actually there's technically two quests in this but they both are moo question mark And also, other weird thing about this... ...is that... ...this is the most peaceful biome... ...and one, if not the most harmless mob. And then they're like one of the strongest enemies in the game. Return to checkpoint. This is... Uh, and also this level is very good for XP grinding. I realized that this mission could be really, really boring to watch. Maybe I should have just done another tower. Because they read it, because that they updated it again. So, yeah, I could have just done that, to be honest. One thing I could do is I could put all the runes in the in the start of the video And I also feel like that this is one of the only levels where the TNT would actually prove useful. Because this level doesn't have that powerful enemies. And what do you mean we are we're all ready? near the boss battle. Since, let me show you something. If I would go through that launch pad, it would be the boss battle.
Well, there is one more side track to go. <laughs> now this fight has boss fight <laughs> may have one tactic that I have kind of figured out So what you want to do is you want to use the totem of sh shielding. That actually I checked that do I have that earlier when I just kind of randomly opened my inventory. Now my death cap ended. That's why I went down here so I could get everything out of it. Also, one thing that I have learned is that Power Bow, I think has most damage of any bow in the game. But where is the other chest? Oh, here. If this would have had better enchantments, this would be better. But because the enchantments are honestly kind of trash. There it goes. Yeah, two out of two chest found. I have used so little arrows. Oh, I'm used to having that on different slot. Okay, this is kind of intensive battle. <laughs> B 
but I haven't been in real danger yet. Now just have to finish him off. Oh, I didn't notice that that ran out. <laughs> now just shoot with your bow. I think the most muscular monstrosity is kind of an anticlimactic name. Like Mushroom King or something would be maybe better. Now just shoot. This battle is really straightforward. But kinda every battle in this game is so... Only a few more hits. We did it. And leveled up with the same hit that finished the mushroom monstrosity. I thought this was, this was gonna be like a long, long episode. Yeah, we got everything. And this is... You don't even press the... Re uh, like, exit. You just kinda walk there. You'll see soon enough. Like this. Traveling to camp. Now we have finished the main game. Okay, I hit 96% of all projectiles that I launched, and I died zero times, I defeated uh, all mobs, that's good, and I took 8687 damage, and in the chest we have, oh yeah, that's the only thing it can give. Here is nothing right now. Uh, let's check the villagers. Ah, uh, really nothing. Oh, gauntlets. I had... 598. 512.
you have really nothing interesting. Let's just use this for fun now that I equipped it. And I want to show you what that got me. It can either be this kind of green. It's just maybe poison. Randomly summon one of three sheep allies that can grant either speed, poison or fire effect. The speed I'm not sure what it does. The poison maybe be like poisonous cloud. And the fire is it has burning. So yeah. Do, we don't have the enchantment tome. But yeah, and also we could go visit this house. <clears throat> I always forget that I can't do put the map on. You can see that here is the head of my, uh, the original monstrosity. Here is memories from all kind adventures. Not necessarily from every, but from many at least. There is Creeper and this kind of painting that looks like the one creeper head statue from Creeper Woods. This warning sign from Soggy Swamp. Statue of Redstone Golem. Of oh, no statue. It's a. Why don't I have memory? Redstone Golem. Then the painting of Cacti Canyon. Something that looks to be a painting of Squid Coast. A anvil from... Perhaps the Fiery Forge. And flowers from... Maybe... The Pumpkin Pasterns. And we're at we are at 11k emeralds. That's good. And we have a good collection of uniques. But yeah, I think that that's it for the episode. I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.